Lafayette Lofts, place where people live and also where people create. This is the home now of the Abriac Theater and an art show, Cindy Weeks Patterson. It's really humid today. Let's see what we find. Talking to the trash man, Cindy Weeks Patterson. This is the closing party of the show in this place that is a theater. Hi. Sign in she. Ah, here's the work. Constructions. Maybe we'll get the artist to say a few words to us. Fine art in all kinds of situations. I'm fine, and here's the artist. No, 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 no. Here's the artist. Maybe we'll get her to say some things. She's been talking a lot to Dozier, who's, where'd he go? Oh, he disappeared. Oh. He went to the other room. There's more art? No, but there's food and food and drink in the other room. Oh, I don't want any food. I want to look at art. So, this is the closing. And how did you happen to come about having a show here in this theater? Now, we, I do shows at the Detroit Rep, art shows. So this is kind of like in that tradition. This is cool. Bill's an old friend of mine, and I knew that he had this space. And I approached him about a year ago and told him that I was really wanting to get re involved in the Detroit art scene, yeah. art culture, and because I don't really have much of a connection in Massachusetts where I'm living. And, um, There's no art in Massachusetts? There is, but it's not very good. Oh my. <laughs> so, it's very, there's Dozier. Mm -hmm. It's very s marketable and saleable and very friendly. And I'm not. Well, this is, this no. is, um. It's, it's not for the same purpose. No, it's biographical, autobiographical, um, very personal. There's a lot going on that. You can't get into right away unless you give yourself over to it, you know. Like I was going to ask you, like with some of the um, old photographs, are they personal photographs from your family or did you find them? or? I found them, a lot of those I found in a uh, um, retirement center and there was somebody who had passed away and her family did not want her scrapbooks and threw them out. And I asked them and told them what I would be using it for. Uh -huh. And, and said that it would be for public viewing, and they were fine with that. They were glad that somebody could use them. So well, this is, a lot of them are from a single family. Well, that's kind of good, too, because at least they live again. I'm always concerned about when people throw out stuff like that. I am, too. You know, and at one time they were cherished. Like, all these, all the things in here, they have this previous history. That's why the point of Salvation Army. Yeah. I mean, all the stuff in here. Look at that. I'm sorry? I was an instructor of hers at CCS. That's right. You know, a number of years ago. She gave me my harshest, however. Okay, tell the story. I gave her a critique. Uh huh. And after my dad died, I painted a painting in a four foot. Four foot at most wide closet that it was, was like, less than eight feet tall. It was a huge the painting in a small canvas closet. Canvas was four foot by eight, and it was, I think the the ceiling was maybe a couple inches short, so it ended up having to be like on an angle. Okay. So I literally had about maybe a foot of floor space to move around in, and it's a big oil painting uh -huh. painted in this closet with the door closed and we're in playing for four days. Wow. 
and but it was like it was like the year after my dad died, and it was kind of a cathartic thing. And she came in and stood in the doorway with me trapped inside with this painting that I'd finally gotten come out of the closet for, and came in and went, "What the fuck are you doing?" I didn't say "fuck." <laughs> you said, "What the hell are you doing?" Right. So I wasn't cursing. In clues, yeah. Yeah. What the hell are you I wasn't doing? bad. This is wrong. And she like related to me for an hour, hour and a half. Probably. No, it wasn't that long. It was that long. Oh, you magnify Ooh. it. Oh, oh Maybe Cindy. I, did. I just it said. It felt like an hour and a half. Oh, well, if I had known that you had been through that, I wouldn't have said that. No, no, it was good. It was good. It was good. Because, I feel. And the one thing, she, she said one thing you do not ever paint. If you have a small space to work in, then work small. If you have a big place to work in, then work, work big. We don't ever do this to yourself. Acknowledge your and space. Best, and That's all I was saying. And she trapped me in there, so I had to sort of feel it with her in there with me. And it oh, was good. It was I... really good. And by far, the most useful Well, you know, well, you know what? Guys. And was it 25 yeah, years later? You're still making this artwork. I am. Or, 30 years later, almost. Sydney. Let's say 20. Let's say 20. Sounded like the same age here. It was a hard time. 20. But it was respectful. And it came from a place of love. Yes, it did. And I knew that. And these are all wonderful pieces. <laughs> this is a great place. Everywhere you look, you see like stuff, and I can't tell whether it's Cindy's or or. <laughs> well, it's all appropriate. One of the guy who's done at our house is a lot of you people. Tim Kearney with the uh, Royal Kitchen and Bath. And his wife, playwright? No, what? Uh, oh, okay. Wait a minute. Oh, but you know it's Bill. I assume you Yeah. You, you don't know him. Bill knows more people than me. Uh, He's... <laughs> yeah, but he doesn't brag about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a more checkered past. <laughs> yes, it's very checkered. <laughs> the one thing the Detroit Rep doesn't do is have an art show on the... Stage, that's the next step. But we're all performers, artists, aren't we? Oh, somebody's calling me. Oh, let's get up close. Almost out of time. Ooh. I can't do it, but I love It's a nice springy stage. What's going up with you? Sorry. Can I do place here? Yeah, there's the the chairs. I want that zebra chair next time I come. Take this corner out of This is a great place. This is uh, Memento Mori for Rhonda. Joseph Cornell would be proud. Oh, yeah, I wanted to do my video. Preserve it. What, like documentation? You got to, do you have a digital camera? I did, but, but it was lost. In the last show, in the show opening, yeah. somebody fell and it was like, yeah. Oh my. This is a so real. 
<laughs> Wonderful <I'm> show. <laughs> Well, <laughs> welcome to the Documentation Club. It doesn't matter what you use, but that what you use you? it. Yeah.